I believe that we feel like not many people understand our struggles. Um, nobody really understands how I feel and, and the things that I'm going through. Um, and you know, for a lot of years, it's you su I suffered with the, the need and the desire to continue getting and hunting and using drugs all the time. In the back of my mind, I had the need and the desire to get clean, but I didn't know how to do that. Um, really, it seemed impossible for a lot of years. It's almost as if I accepted my life for for what it was and the, uh, the pain and the misery and the devastation. It's almost like that became comfortable. Recovery Connection is a recovery support system. We offer a variety of services for people who are in recovery from addiction or substance abuse. Here at Recovery Connection, we also have um, different groups. So AA has about four meetings a week here right now. Um, we also offer a group called Smart Recovery, and that is just an alternative to AA or NA. Um, it's a self-help support group. Um, but it's different than AA, so we have that option for people. If AA is not for them, we have Smart Recovery. Um, if Smart Recovery isn't for them, there's AA. If they wanna do both, that's fine. We really think that people should be able to choose their own recovery path, and so um, we try to offer the, the variety of meetings for them here. We also do, you know, we put on social activities for people in recovery. Right now we have um, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and so, you know, people who are in recovery come on a Friday night and they play Dungeons and Dragons. We have um, a gardening club going on right now for people in recovery to get involved in that. Um, we have been doing journaling, um, so different social activities for people who are in recovery to participate in and be a part of. Um, you know, it's a safe environment with people who are also in recovery, um, and so we do offer those kinds of things as well. Um, we have a peer mentor program, and so we train volunteers um, to be mentors to people in recovery. Um, a peer mentor is basically someone who can come alongside you in your recovery and be that support system for you. You can meet however much you want, um, and they really are someone it's someone that can really just be there for you in recovery and encourage you and, and, and help you through, you know, life's ups and downs. Um, it's that person that can be there for you. Connection to resources, you know, connection to treatment, counseling, education, employment, things like that. Connection to one another. Recovery Connection also offers support for um, family members, friends, relatives, spouses of addicted people. So we offer a group called Circle of Support. Would hate to think of someone not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do, and not having a place to go to figure that out. That's why we exist. If a person is saying, now what do I do? You know, I'm out of treatment. I just got out of jail. What now? What, where can I go? I don't know the resources that are available. I don't know what I could do. They can come to us and we can help them with that then what, with the now what, where they can go and we can help connect them to those resources that they need. To me, recovery, I guess I associate it with, um, I mean, it's kind of like going to a hospital. What do you do when you go to a hospital? You recover. And that's what we do here um, and that's what it's what we do in, in recovery itself. I think it's just uh, the healing process, you know, that's needed. It's recovering from that hopeless state of mind and body. Uh, recovery to me, I, I believe in, in, the, in my eyes, recovery is a process of subtraction rather than addition. I believe through this process, I'm unbecoming everything that I'm not meant to be. So the values and morals that um, live inside of me can resurface again um, so that I can learn to uh, you know, make a, make a positive, decent decision for my life, for my future, uh, put the wants and needs of others ahead of my own. 
getting in touch with a with a body of people, with a group of people who've got the same goals in life as I do, and and, and the same uh, plans, and trying to achieve the same things. Um, you know, like-minded uh, people have like-minded goals. You know, I think it's real important for me to stay connected to some people that are on the same path as me. You know, if I, uh, you know, if, if I'm hanging out with people that are striving to meet their goals in life and they're uh, making changes and heading in the right direction and and taking into you know the the context of life man is where I've lived in active addiction I'm taken from every aspect for a lot of years and now we're going to rotate our thinking and what can we do to give back and be a be a part of the positive side of community in, in the city we live in you know what it's your school teachers it's your neighbors it's your doctor it's your dentist it's your sons it's your parents and uh, you know what, I, I think that we, we all got to come together. It shows the community that recovery is not, it's not a cookie cutter process. Um, you know what, and, and we can rebuild our lives and we can regain self-respect and the respect of others. And we can be positive, productive members of society that, leave a, li that live a very meaningful life. in my life where I welcomed it um, in that true state of despair not knowing what to do with myself what to do with my life I became such a part of that dark world that it, I felt it was almost destined for me or better for me to go to prison sometimes I welcomed it honestly um, I just got off a case a couple years ago right now and I was totally ready to go to jail at that point I knew I needed help um, you know, I didn't want to kill myself, but I definitely didn't want to live the way I was living anymore. So I honestly welcome the thought of going to jail to get myself clean. Recovery is light. It's coming out of the darkness. It's um, the, the being, being um, out of the bondage of, of alcohol. Alcohol took over everything. Um, it took my family. It took my home. It took absolutely everything that I held near and dear. And coming into recovery has given me all of that back. I can share my experience, strength, and hope. What happened when I got here, what I had to do to stay here, um, what I've had to do to continue to be here. Um, you know, there's treatment centers, people go to treatment, people go to jail, they have um, IOP, you know, programs in jail. The education's there. Everybody learns everything you need to know how to stay clean and sober and then they cut you loose and you gotta figure it out yourself. Um, that's where the community comes in, that's where the support comes in. You need somebody to show you how to do that, um, what they taught you. What I, was, what I was taught in treatment, I did not know how to use when I came out. And um, the, the, the support of the recovery community is what showed me um, you can do this. And that's where the hope comes from. Um, that's all I can offer is when women come, you can do this. The most lonely aspect of addiction is um, the lack of support from the people that care about you the most. Um, addiction is a family disease. It affects everybody. It doesn't just affect the addict. Uh, it makes the parents sick. It makes the spouses sick. It makes the children sick. Um, the other sick people don't know what to do with it and they distance themselves. So by the time an addict is done, um, they're pretty alone. It is a very lonely disease and you can't, you can't get clean and sober alone. And that's, that's the big step. When I first came around, it was listening to other people's stories. Reunification with children. We work with Department of Family Services, you know, to um, get them reunified with their children that they've lost to, into the system because of their um, substance abuse. Um, you know, reunification with their families, you know, parents and, and siblings that can watch them here change and see that, give them, them some hope and um, they can gain that trust back again that they've lost. Sometimes addicts have nobody else to talk to. You know, and, and you talk about connection. Connection is the bond between one addict and another. You know, we all have that common bond, you know, in recovery. 
I may not have been where you've been or done what you've done, but I felt what you felt, you know, and I felt pain and I felt despair and I felt hopelessness. And I can relay that to the next newcomer or the next addict who comes along. And like I said, sometimes people just want to be heard. Recovery in and of itself, I think it's a process of um, continuation of really trying to become well and whole. Uh, just letting them know the resources that are available, uh, places like Recovery Connections, letting them know what's out there, you know, and to tell them never give up, just keep trying, just keep trying. Inevitably, this could be your daughter, your son, your sister, your grandmother. I mean, this, uh, this disease knows no barriers. Early on, I was told like if you could write down a list like what your life would be like, you'd be robbing yourself and it's so true. It's so true because like recovery is about um, not really trying to gain things back that you lost but having a life. And so every day like I want to live and to me that's what this whole thing is about. So hope to me stands for hold on pain ends and it really does, you know. So. The whole process of recovery is about every day waking up and wanting to live and not wanting to die. My name is Mitch Peters. Um, I'm an attorney here in Porter County. I've been an attorney for 34 years. Uh, I've been in recovery for 30 years. I'm the public defender here in Judge Alexa's court. Well, recovery in the addiction sense is the process by which we stop using drugs, we find a new way of life, and we become productive, responsible members of society. Now, there are multiple avenues of recovery today. Um, we're not limited. And so it's important for each individual who's seeking recovery to find their own avenue, whatever program or process. And it necessitates a community effort. It necessitates that we all get on board um, in the treatment process. There is hope, and that's what I try to instill in my clients. There's hope for you. Don't give up. Don't become another statistic. They have to get involved in the recovery process. They have to reintegrate themselves into the community. They have to get through the isolation of the disease of addiction, and they have to begin to heal. Connection is to reintegrate into society, uh, reintegrate with our families, to repair those broken relationships. That is the type of connection that the addict needs. It starts in the recovery community, whatever mechanism or avenue they follow, where they begin to again feel safe and secure and, and cared for, and they begin to become human again because they've isolated to the point where they're antisocial. Um, and I only know this because I've experienced it uh, in my own life, and I've seen it in my family with my brother, my mother, my son, you know. So breaking through that isolation and reconnecting um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, that's what connection means to me. Part of Recovery Connection came out of my experience as a mom um, to a child that's a, um, in active addiction and our search for um, resources for him. Part of it also came from my executive director job at PACT and seeing how there wasn't a lot of um, recovery support in our community. There's a lot of treatment, there's a lot of um, those types of things, but the recovery support was really missing in our community. Everyone has to find their own way of doing it. It's easier for people on the outside um, to say what they would do if they were a parent, but it's a different thing when you're the parent. So I just wanted a safe place for number one, the most important is people to have connections to know where to go, what to do, um, what was available in our community and others. And then also a safe place where people can
and know that their way is the way that we're going to respect. Do you know what I mean? Like, without judgment. My son has done nine treatments. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, not around here, so he's gone away to treatment. Um, typically, they last anywhere from 30 to 45 days. I mean, they should last longer, but that's all insurance will pay. And then you come home, and that's the most vulnerable time that everyone has, is the first 30 to 90 days out of treatment. And so there needs to be support in a safe environment for recovery. We can give you hope that um, there are things that you can do. Um, one of the struggles I had um, was even though I am the executive director of PACT and I know a lot of people, I know the prosecutor, I know probation, I know a lot of people, I still had trouble finding help for my son. Um, so the whole goal is to make it easier for people to um, at least find some initial people to talk to. I mean, that's our goal eventually, to be able to have 24-hour support and um, have be there for people when they need the help. It was just hard to um, know what to do. I just really wanted a place for families to be able to talk about that stuff that nobody else would understand. And part of the whole Recovery Connection was um, getting people before they're in the hospital with an overdose or getting people before they go to jail. Do you know what I mean? Like even though PACT runs programs um, for the court systems for people who are actually in the court um, system, the goal was to try to reach people before that happened. Do you know what I mean? To, there is hope. I have seen people, I know people in my life that are recovering and um, some of them you wouldn't know that they're in recovery. Other people are very vocal about the fact that they're in recovery and they're proud of it. One of the things I always say is that there isn't enough empathy. The staff at Recovery Connection knows that people just want to talk sometimes. I mean, it's as easy as that, and then that gives them strength to keep going. That's what I hope Recovery Connection gives people. And we need to quit making people feel bad that they don't pick the path that we think that they should pick. And that's the goal of Recovery Connection, is everyone gets to choose their own path. And we're just there to support them and to um, connect them with resources in the community. Drug addiction is a real isolating um, disease, and so the goal is to actually make them part of the community and let them share their gifts. I mean, every single recovery person has gifts to share with this community, so these aren't throwaway people. And that's kind of how our country has decided to handle this, is let's just jail them. Um, and we can't, we can't do that. Without connection, a person is isolated and they are alone. And especially for a person who is addicted, if you are alone in your recovery, that's what you're gonna to wanna to go back to. So for us to be able to connect these people with their surrounding community is so important for them. Asking for help and contrary to what we believe as being a sign of weakness, it's really a sign of strength. And, and it's an absolute must to, to reach out um, and to get in behind some people that are going to help guide you and lead you in the right direction to help bring you some hope and some joy and some happiness and some peace to your life.